human rights groups are paying close attention to North Korea. They're hoping the country's new leader, Kim Jong-un, will start a new era and leave the one his father led far behind. Shortly after John un took power, three of the world's largest human rights organizations sent him a letter. It calls for the respect of basic human rights, but it specifically asks for the release of over 200,000 political prisoners who are often forced to work in labor camps. Many of them are behind bars, accused of guilt by association. The country has a population of roughly 24 million people. Hunger and malnutrition are widespread, but the government is mostly known for its strict demands on loyalty. Merely questioning the regime can result in the detention, disappearance, torture and even death of its citizens. The letter is signed by Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch and the International Federation for Human Rights. Forty other organizations from all over the world also signed the letter, including religious groups. Only time will tell, but they're hoping Kim Jong-un will mark his legacy as the leader who brought freedom to North Korea.